All right, so I had somebody um, interested in doing a lease option and they and someone else, well, they both said land, land contract and I said, we do a lease option. So one said they could do 10% down and another person said only like 3,000. Um, so how can I respond to the person with 3,000? Because I, I don't want to completely like turn them off in the event that nothing else works out. Yeah, yeah. you want to keep um, them in play? and okay. get them out to the house, whether that's before or after you close now with, that you're dealing with this issue with the seller. Um, but yeah, you want to keep them in play, keep all the interested buyers who have money in play until one of them finally comes in and gives you money and signs all the paperwork. Okay, keep them in play. Okay, just say, well, could I say something like, well, we've had people with a bit more, but we haven't done a background check on them yet we'll just keep you updated is that something that's good to say or i, I, I would just say so you want to inject two things into your conversation with the buyer urgency and scarcity those are the two things that make the buyer move okay so yeah we've had a ton of people looking at this house i need you to get out there and take a look at the inside of the house asap ton of people. if you okay. want this thing go out there and if you want it, you like what you see, get back to me, we'll start processing your application. But I gotta tell you, if you already had two other offers with a lot more than you're indicating you can put down. So just keep that in mind. But go out and look at the house. You know, okay, does that make except sense? I can't, yeah, except I can't get them in the house. <laughs> right, so okay. depending yeah. on how you wanna do that, yeah. The situation, okay. <laughs>